this disgusting like lash cluster that I have. foundation, concealer, powder, and my brows already done just to save a little bit of time. And we are going in with the Milani Soft and Sultry Palette. It looks like this right here. It is a gorgeous palette and just like a cool tone dream. So, <clears throat> I am going to grab a big fluffy brush like this one. And I will have everything that I already have on my face and everything that I use in the video in the description box down below, so be sure to check that out. So for my first transition shade, I'm going to go in with this one right here. And I'm just going to put that all in my crease and just start blending. Actually, I'm going to zoom you in too. So whenever I do kind of more grungy looks on myself, um, I really like to make sure that they're just big, dramatic, blown out, and just, just dirty and grungy looking, you know what I mean? So we are going to be blending a lot during all of this. And I do try to make them, you know, fairly easy. I don't want to have to go in with 20 different eyeshadows just to achieve a look. So I just keep building up and blending and blending and blending with the same few shadows just to get the desired look that I want. So now that I have that first transition shade blended out to how I want, I am going to go in with this shade right here. It is this next one over and just a little bit of a deeper tone of the last one that we were using. Um, and I am going to go on a slightly less fluffier blending brush. And I'm going to essentially do the exact same thing, but I'm not going to blend it as far out as I did with that first shade. This one I'll focus more concentrated into the crease and then just slightly blending out from there. You know what, I think I'm also going to go ahead and pack this one onto the lid as well. And what I'll frequently do during this whole process is switch back to that first blending brush and make sure that there's no product on it. And I will just blend those edges just to make sure that everything is super seamless and blended because I don't want a harsh line anywhere. So now that we're blended out to this point and I still only have these two shades on my lids right now, you really don't have to use that many shadows. So that's, you know, one reason why I really like these kind of looks because it's super easy. Um, but now we are going to go in with this middle shade right here. And I'm just going to take it on a flat, stiff, synthetic brush. Load it up, tap it off. And I'm going to get right here along my lash line and just lightly press that in. So now I'm going to take an eyeliner. This is just the L'Oreal Infallible one in the shade Black. And very messily, I'm just going to lightly... Oh no, it broke. Look at that. So, um, I am going to just line my lid right here. 
not my lid, line my lash line. It doesn't have to be super precise. And while I'm doing this, I'm going to go ahead and line my waterline, top and bottom. And with this, I'll be a little bit messier with my lower waterline because I'm really going to be blending and smoking that out down there. So, taking that same brush and that same color, you could even go in with a black. But I am going to make sure to tap that out very well because I don't want to get a lot of fallout on my cheek right here. And we are just going to stamp this again and just lightly start blending it out some. And you can start to do whatever you would like to with your outer corner right here. If you wanted to wing it out, you can. If you want to leave it rounded, whatever you prefer. I think I am going to wing it out, but I'm only going to wing it out with the shadows. And I'm also going to do the same thing on my lower lash line, just pressing this really tightly into my lashes here. And we'll blend it out more later. It's going to look a little bit crazy until we start blending again, so just trust the process. I always say this, I never like how my makeup looks until the actual, like, very, very, very end. My eyeliner isn't looking too good on my lower lash line, so I'm just going to grab that same eyeliner, but I'm going to dip it into my gel. Just so I know that it's going to be black, 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 and it's going to stay in there. So now, this definitely is not the finished product. What I'm going to do now is go in with this shade right here. It is a lighter, cooler toned brown than the previous one that we went in with. And I'm going to blend out all of this whole wing that I just did. So really like stamping on top of here. And then just slowly blending out. I'm going to go in with a little bit smaller of a brush to do this. While I'm blending out this, I'm going to kind of like be going back and forth to my lower lash line as well. So I am going to go in with this shade right here just to start kind of blending out the lower lash line to help the whole look start to come together. And every now and then I will clean off this brush just so I can go in with a clean one to help further blend. Because I don't want to keep depositing color, I just want it to get that seamless blend. And same thing for this eye. And I think kind of the last thing that I want to do is go in with this shade right here. It's kind of like a, a little bit of like a cool tone pinky color. And I'm just going to take that on a fluffy brush and just kind of go around like all of like the edges, I guess I could say. So now that you look like a creature from the living dead, we're going to go ahead and apply some mascara. This is just the Wander Beauty Mile High Club Volume and Length Mascara. Um, I don't believe it gives me any volume whatsoever to my lashes, but it does give me really good length. And I don't know, it's, it's a pretty good formula. I like to wear this mostly whenever I'm not doing any makeup or very minimal makeup I'll put this on and just some brow gel and I really like how it looks with that but right now I'm just coating my lashes so I can put some falsies on and I'm going to go ahead and coat my lower lashes as well 
I love this one for lower lashes because the wand is pretty thin and you can get right in there and it just adds, you know, like I said, really good length. Look at this disgusting, like, lash cluster that I have. I had the intentions of cleaning them, but I really don't think I'm going to. So I'm going to go in with these lashes from Kiss. They're called Jubilee. Um, I don't have the outer packaging of it. I, I don't know what I did with it. But I'm just going to pop these on and we will be right back to finish the rest of the face. So I'm back. I have my lashes on and I wanted to kind of brighten this up a little bit more on my lid. So what I did was take this shade right here and then this one right here, mixed them together and I just laid it on with uh, just, you know, kind of like a smaller brush like this and I literally swiped it on just like that slightly blended it a bit and went over it a tiny tiny bit with this shade right here you know what i just realized they have names on the back i didn't even know that they all have names hmm. now that i have my eyes all done and how i like them uh we're gonna go in and finish the rest of the face so we can wrap this up so I'm not going to bronze up my face too much because I do want to keep this very cool toned and, you know, grungy looking. So I'm going to go in with this bronzer from Milani. It is 01 Sunlight. You know what? I'm going to back y'all up just a little bit. So I'm going to take that on my bronzer brush and I'm really going to focus it back here. You know what, I am also going to go in a little bit of contour. I never contour just because, I don't know, it's really just not my jam. But I'm just going to use this Wet n Wild Contour Palette in the shade Caramel Toffee. And I am just going to go in with that contour shade. Mostly just to tone down the warmth of the bronzer. So a lot of Milani products. I'm going to go in with the Milani Rose Blush in the shade Tea Rose. I'm going to go in just very, very lightly with this. I don't want this look to be too blushy or anything. But I do want to add just a tiny bit of color to my cheeks. And my highlight, what I've been loving for weeks now, probably months at this point, is the Maybelline Master Chrome in the shade 250. I am going to add just a little dab of my loose highlighter from Wet n Wild in the shade I'm So Lit. I'm going to add just a little dab of that pretty much everywhere. It's just so pretty. And now we need our lips, and I'm using, again, another Milani product. Um, this is the Amour Satin Matte, and this is in the shade 02 Luxe. Um, I pretty much love these. I say these. I've only tried this one color out, but I really like the formula. Why am I trying to talk while I'm doing this? Hold on. I absolutely love this lipstick. It goes on so thin and so wet. It literally feels like I'm wearing nothing right now. And it just, mm, it's just so pretty. I want to get more of the colors or all of the colors. So I'm really liking this right now. But anyways, this is the finished look for today. I hope that you enjoyed it. 
Um, I hope that it was useful information, helped you out, anything at all. So if you did enjoy this video, and I hope that you did, please subscribe, give me a like, ring the notification bell, and you'll be notified every single Tuesday at 6 p.m. whenever I post a new video. And I will see you in my next one. Bye. <laughs>